Yeah, yeah, Vivi and yes. Aries. We saw Aries a little bit on stream cool. earlier against uh, against Make Make. Yes. So we've got Steve versus Hero. So let me tell you why this matchup right now. This is a counter pick to Steve. When will y'all learn? When will y'all learn? The counter pick to Steve is Hero. Pick up Hero. Everyone should pick up Hero. Specifically for this. Okay, Vivi, you're making me look awful right now. Please. But you and are, yet, still starting PS2. We are still starting PS2. Yeah, I was going to get to that. But yeah, Hero has been picking up a lot of momentum lately as sort of the anti-meta, anti-Steve counterpick. I love it. I love everyone saying Hero is the anti-meta. I'm, I'm here for it. Right? I'm absolutely here for it. Come, everyone, come play the funny little green man, OK? Please. But like John d did say, we have taken Steve to PS2, yeah. which I have said before, you know, it doesn't really matter how comfortable you are on PS2. If you're taking Steve to PS2, you are directly donating to the Steve Minecart Foundation. I agree. You're Absolutely giving him agree. as much iron as he wants. Yeah, but to be fair, we did we did ban Kalos and um, NTNC. I'm Why sorry, Smash Kalos? Isn't that a counter pick? Why was that banned game one? Um, Who did this? Someone's not It hasn't been reset yet. Oh, okay, it hasn't oh, been reset. Oh, my God. They, Look, probably, see, just, they I... probably just said PS2 and said yes. And mm. Vivi was like, you know what? I'm going to be a good sport. And they said yes. But, you know, they're also going to be saying goodbye to Harry's, Harry's first dog. And uh, Vivi's still at 80%. Uh, this is pretty much kill percentage for uh, Steve if Steve able to get Diamond. But now we have Wooden Tools at the moment, which not, eh, ain't going really to be much, too much to, to hear right now. Not going to be too, doing too much. And nope. we can already see that level 2 Zapple can be doing so much against and Steve just goes right through the blocks, eats through all of Steve's neutral, as well it does most characters' neutrals. Yep. But it, oh. in such a defensive game plan like Steve's, he's he's gonna be having a rough time. Really gonna need me to avoid the uh, the magma block out smash right there. Get kaboom Ooh, and there's in. a second stock that's sucking of a kaboom. Keep charging up a little bit of frizz right there. Not that um, VB has the MP to use it, but no. Nope, oh, nope. Okay. You need 36 for that one. Oh, back yeah, throw. Good. Good grab there oh, by Aries, but really what a match. mash by Vivi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Vivi, like, destroys their stick when yeah, they they've got the, the, they, the, the palm <laughs> rotation. Palm, yeah. Yo, SPT, what's hey, up? Hey, SPT. Up throw, not going to take it. And we're still struggling to take oh. on Vivi's, uh, all, just, just their first stock. Was that a not enough iron for Anvil? I don't know what that animation they was. Been, oh, that's Grizzly! a great Oh. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Down smash my beloved. Oh, down smash my beloved. Was that oh, a yeah, three that stock? Was, yeah. It was. That first kill by Vivi was so good. That's something that Steve's love to do is use that up B to nice. travel real close to the ground mm -hmm. to get back to center stage. But that huge vertical hitbox, that huge swing of heroes going to be taking that stock real quick. And you simply can't. But what we're, we're, we're probably going to be really wanting to see from Steve against Hero is really be super, super cautious about that balance. Even though it, hasn't, it wasn't working too much for, uh, well, against um, against Ares. It's still such a, ooh. ooh. Okay, okay. We actually have a counter pick. I, I do agree with this. Oh, absolutely. You, you should absolutely not play Steve against Hero. But either way, uh, Scratch Out was saying, because they're not going to Steve anymore. Now we're going to PT. We're going to Battlefield. And we have Square. Starting off the match and mainly getting a solid auto into a parry of the bang. Really good job right there from Aries getting a few first hits in the first blood over here. Yeah, so I feel like I really feel like Squirrel is going to be crucial in this matchup just because, you know, whiff punishing is what you want to do against Hero. And Squirtle is one of the best in the biz at that. You know, he's tiny, he's fast, he's got quick buttons. Yeah. But, ooh, okay, great parry there on the Kaboom. Actually parried the correct hitbox of the Kaboom, which is very difficult to do. Uh, so, Aries starting to get a little bit of momentum, putting Vivi now in the corner with not a whole lot of MP on deck. Yeah, I completely agree with what you're saying. Everything you're saying. Now we're going over to Ivysaur, kind of like the swordsman of the group uh, between Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard, of course. And uh, what we're going to be seeing here is what is Vivi's going to have to be using balance to avoid those uh, any of these like Razor Leaf projectiles that Aries should be throwing out soon. But instead, they're going to be going off to the stage. We have the Southern Order active, and Aries at 118%. Getting back to the stage will be done. So yeah, I don't really know how I feel about Ivysaur in this particular part of the matchup because Ivysaur really wants to play at that sort of mid-range where you can you know throw out your Razor Leaf and then start mixing in things like uh, approaching aerials yep. or grabs. Whereas, you know, the more space that you're giving Vivi, 
the more time that they have to really get into that menu. And Zapple, yep. not even Charizard saving you. Nope, not even Charizard's Heavyweight is going to save you from the from Zapple. But uh, right over to uh, Ivysaur, just straight, straight up uh, bypassing Squirtle. Good choice as uh, VB is at a really good competitor for Ivysaur. Getting a really good downer offstage is probably what they really want to like look for. Yeah, no, Ares is definitely okay, going to be... Okay, carrying is amazing. Yeah, no, Ares is definitely going to be looking for the kill soon. And I think Ivysaur probably a bit better of a bet than Charizard, just because Ivysaur has a little bit better scrapping potential, mm -hmm. whereas Charizard really wants to box with those big sword-like normals, especially, you know, back air. But Vivi doesn't have to approach you and box you if they don't want to. Absolutely not. I'm loving that Vivi used um, Snooze and then runs up and does one job, kind of to poke to see if they're going to drop shield or not, and then runs back if they feel as though they're unsafe in that situation. But here we go, going down throw into Ooh, double forward the air. Ares still has another one. But yeah! yeah! We love those! That was like 100%, by the way. Because Vigo was at like almost 150, and Black be starts to become like 80 to 90 when the other opponent is like over 100, too. So, Vivi got the love whole Excel spreadsheet in their head. Yo, I'm going to math you guys after the set's over. You're going to math me? Yeah. Go ahead. Continue commentating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go go ahead, Nummies. We, go, we got Vivi's uh, first time finally taken, and I will go on with the Magic Burst, to be fair. Uh, just to be funny. You build different. I'm just kind of build different. Yeah. All right. Oh, using that shield box. Finally, hitbox. yes. Finally getting this news. And a crit, please. No, okay. no right. crit, unfortunately. <laughs> Got Oom on deck as well as some accelerado action and another snooze. Are you dead? A smash? But no okay, crit no. once more. This game hates BB. <laughs> yeah, I know. But look, how, the, look how badly BB is doing right now. The second hit of f -tilt is not taking yet, unfortunately. <laughs> Trying to get the down air. Yeah, good patience there by Ares. Not mm -hmm. falling into the down air, but they have a mountain and a half to climb right now. Possible I, with Charizard, to be fair. Possible with Charizard, but I mean, a Difficult. lot of. BB's options are just gonna start killing even without uh, buffs. Yep. Soon. The back of the uh, forward air coming out right then almost Throw in a reach. Into it. That happened to BB twice. I <laughs> and we go one a double fair missing the first one and gaining a guaranteed hit on the second one. Yep. Accelerado making sure that that was a clean frame trap for BB. Yep. So unfortunately for Aries, the counter pick. Not quite working out. You didn't get three stocks, hey. But. At least, but was definitely a better pick than uh, Steve, which again is starting to become uh, heroes. What one of heroes like plus MU, uh, matchups? The anti meta. The anti meta. Boom. Yeah. Black. All Look right. At that. Meta deleted. Hi, Nami. Right. Nami came with the data. Math time. Hi, math. All right, here we go. Here we go. Are you on? Are you on air? Oh, this was pretty guaranteed. However. Ah. All right. <laughs> there are two rules for this. Yes. The first one. The victim. Yes. Yeah. The poor deceased. After 20%. Between 0 and 20, it's always 1%, no yep. matter what happens. Yep. From 20, after that, every 20% increases your odds of dying by 15%. Yep. So Charizard here is at 106 or so, so that's about 60% right there. Mm -hmm. 80 times whatever. <laughs> And then Hero, for every 100% he has, it adds 7% mm -hmm. of killing the opponent to it. So this is about an 87% chance of killing. I'm done mathing. So I was very, cl I was very close. Is what thank I'm you, hearing. Thank you. Very close. You said 100. Goodbye. No, no, I said 80 and 90 because I said 100. And I was, you know, I'm wrong. Let me. I, I got excited in the moment. <laughs> it was the a... real would have been. I said 80 to 90 after I was like, you know what? I got too excited. It was, it was a heat of the moment type. I really thought I was BB very was going to throw, the, throw them. Wait, off. I just missed that B reverse. It, oh, that was beautiful. Off the platform. Hi. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, also, hi. I'm disappointed Vivi didn't play the Luminary. Here. No, I I'm happy. 